and tigers roar, the lions look bored, and the man in back yells, peanuts, lemonade, popcorn, cracker jack of fries, needs in every pack. Oh, the monkey got away, grabbed the man by his toupee. The old folks smiled, the kids went wild, and the man in back yells, peanuts, lemonade, popcorn, cracker jack of fries, needs in every pack. <laughs> Peanuts, lemonade, popcorn, cracker, jack of fries, and each and every pack. Come on, come on, be jolly and gay. There's lots of fun down the great midway. Hooray! Hurry, hurry, step this way. All right, young fellas, if you feel strong, pick up the hammer, hit the gong. Everybody tries it, give it a whirl. You might win candy for your girl. Hey there, Mr. Antoine at this time. All right, Sonny, three tries for a dime. Oh, gee, oh, gosh, I'm glad I ate my spinach. He missed it. <laughs> Not enough spinach. <laughs> he did it. Hooray! Oh, boy, oh, boy, I win, I win. Made out lemonade, popcorn, cracker, jack of fries, each and every pack. It made a shaky in the knees to see the man on the flying trapeze. Two little monkeys hand in hand dance to the music of a little clown band. <laughs> Are you sound? I'll guess you wait within a pound. If I fail, you win a prize, a cupid doll with Google eyes. Say there, Mr. Guess my weight. I'll show you with my size. My sweetie pie would think I'm great if I brought home one prize. You weigh 120 pounds, according to my touch. Why, no, 220, says the scale. You lose because I ate so much of... Peanuts, lemonade, popcorn, cracker jack of prize, each and every pack. When the circus came to town, when the circus...
hunt that animal land so far, the reason you've never seen it before is it's a tiny land. It's hard to find. Just now, animal land is threatened with flood. It's rainy season. Logs are needed to stop the rising river. There's work for everybody. Rainy season always means flood. You see, without careful planning for safety, there would soon be no animal land. In case the dikes break, food is stored at the top of the highest hill. Tote that carrot, roll that beet. If there's a flood, at least we'll eat. Drop the food here, pile it up high. Hurry, hurry, without it we'll die. Porky the porcupine has an apple to bring. Alley up, side down, and over. Naturally, Robbie the rabbit lays in a lettuce supply. Whew, hot work. Glad I brought this along. Hey, Hamo the hamster, everybody's bringing food up the hill. Come on. Oh, go roll your lettuce. There isn't going to be any flood. Uh-oh, there's something wrong with the hill. Can't lose this lettuce. Hmm, I know. There. I'll bet that Hamo doesn't bring a thing. I'm ready for the flood, but why should I tell them? I suppose I'll have to bring some grain or they'll all say I don't care. Well, I don't care about the rest of them. Better not be too generous with my reputation. Anything I bring will be a surprise. Let's see, how much shall I give? Hmm, pretty big one. I'd better make it two, though. Three. Oh, I'm a generous fool. Meanwhile, at the waterfront, Ferdy the Frog stands guard, ready to warn the rest. River's rising again. Better look closer. Higher yet. Porky the porcupine strengthens a weak place. Looks right now. Logs. More logs. To the dikes. Come on, everybody, save the dikes. Everybody pitches in. Animals tear down their houses. Anything to stop the river. Not a moment to lose. she holds. Work never stops. The dike is pushed further, further. More homes torn down. If they survive, they can rebuild. Robbie the rabbit sees something else they can use. What's coming off here? Why, my roof's coming off. First my grain, now my roof. But we need it. The river. Go away. Do you think wood like this grows on trees? Meanwhile, the rain-fed river keeps getting higher and higher. But work goes on to the last minute. They try everything. nears the top of the dikes. More logs. The dike crumbles. The river's breaking through. Flood. Ferdy warns the rest to run to the hill. Everybody runs. Last one up the hill, Robbie the rabbit.
look, down below. Hamo, hurry Hamo, you'll drown. Ah, drown will I, cowards. They're the ones who'll drown. Serve them right, too. This'll show them. Look what Hamo's doing. Yo ho ho and a bottle of pop. I'm the one who'll come out on top. I'll sail and sail the world around. As to the others, why, let them drown. Maybe I'll become a pirate. Shiver me timbers, but I'm smart. Captain Hamo. Hey, who's rocking the boat? Getting rough. Say, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Poor Hamo. There goes the grain Hamo was too selfish to share with the others. The sun, the sun. The river retreats. Land. The animals will rebuild Animal Land. Except for Hamel, everybody was saved because they all worked together, shared what they had. Here comes Robbie the Rabbit. Hmm, this makes me mud. Look, as we said, Animal Land's not so far, just tiny. Perhaps one day you'll find. Howdy, folks. Well, sir, us chimpanzees, we don't like to appear in movies. Interferes with our everyday living. But when we was asked to put on a little show to help you human beings learn something about us, why, we just had to do it. No, sir, we couldn't say no. Now, them four-footed animals, they're called ponies. They ain't so bright. Otherwise, they wouldn't be letting them chimps ride them. As for my fellow chimps, well, I can't help but feel a little bit ashamed of them. They're just plain beasts, they are. It takes a certain animal-like intelligence to be able to do this. More brawn than brain, so to speak. And it does amuse the kiddies, which is all modern education seems to consist of anyway. Of course, in my time, things was different. You see, the cowboy influence, inspired by them Western movies, is quite the rage today. I can assure you that the chimp in his native habitat is a much more civilized critter. Well, it's a good thing that chimp can eat standing up. You know, at times, performing here at the zoo circus, it can be a dangerous profession. As we chimps say, it's a heck of a way to make a living. Now, me, I prefer the peace and quiet of the jungle. That young chimp can't seem to make up his mind. He don't know whether he wants to be a cowboy or a fireman. Well, give him time. He's just a babe in arms. You know, I'm beginning to enjoy this in spite of myself. Now, this chimp does a better job. Notice the bow. I guess there's a little ham in all of us. Except in me, that is. Now here, they're rehearsing a scene for a new play. Three chimps on a horse. Oh, they've just changed the title. It's now four, uh, I mean five chimps on a horse. 
or the tail of a horse's tail. Hope you folks don't mind if I smoke. Persistent little varmint, ain't he? Well, reminds me a bit of myself when I was younger. Full of vim and vitality I was. Now, now who said the cavalry was dead? The chimps still keep the tradition alive, you see, even if there ain't enough ponies to go around. In a way, of course, this is an intelligence test for them, because they figured out how 11 chimps can ride on 10 ponies and still come out even. I could have solved it by arithmetic, but nobody asked me. Well, horses being old-fashioned, the chimps take to wheels. Hot rod hobbyists, I call them. Oh, that chimp is going to come to a bed end. Well, bust my britches. Maybe that was designed for people that are too tired to walk in their sleep. And here, here is how to ride a bicycle when you have one wheel and no bicycle. A human wheelbarrow. Oh, excuse me, I mean a chimpanzee wheelbarrow. Now, you men can be eight feet taller than she. You almost made it, too. Well, you might call this the height of a chimp's existence. Of course, it makes for kind of a stilted life. I ain't so sure I approve. Nothing like keeping your feet on the ground, as my friend Charlie the Centipede always says. Some chimps like to live dangerous, if not very long. But don't you folks worry none. He's just as safe as he'd be back home on the top branch of a tree. I sure hope there's nothing, nothing strong in that bottle. He might get eaten higher than he is. Well, he's still there. Guess he was afraid he might break the bottle. Now, this little demonstration might prove that subway strap hangers are a throwback to chimps. Only they wasn't thrown far enough. Give a chimp enough rope and he'll smoke it. Ah, uh, vanity, vanity, thy name is Chimp. My old friend Aesop once said, music has charms to soothe the savage beasts. It'll be interesting to see if it works on humans. Come on down the old fairway, singing his cow cow boogie in the strangest way. Come a come a singing his cowboy songs. He's just too much. This is the monkey version of the donkey serenade. He was raised on no what you call a swing half breed singing his cow cow boogie swing on a tree or swing to music us chimps are right at home uh, sure brings back memories i used to cut quite a figure on the dance floor myself regular gay blade i was And this kind of brings to a close our little show in chimpanology. Oh, such bad manners. 
Well, now let's put an end to this monkey business. Goodbye, folks. See you at the zoo.